Beloved in Christ, you know, there's something that I have noticed um, in the past few years. Uh, I've been hearing high profile Christians justify lying as though lying, if it is to um, somehow uh, elevate God's will or to bring God's will to fruition, then lying is justified. Beloved, lying is never justified. I know some people use the, um, the incident where, uh, who was it, who lied about the prophets and uh, she was hiding them and she said they weren't there. And they use that as a reasoning to lie and then allow God to somehow mediate between that lie. Well, beloved, lying is not good. Matter of fact, the Word of God says in, in Ephesians, uh, the fourth chapter and the 25th verse, Paul write these words, Wherefore, put away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Talking about believers, um, uh, we ought not lie to one another, and nor should we lie to anyone else, and somehow believe that it is justified because it may get us out of a situation uh, that we don't desire to be in. Well, Revelation 21.8 says, All liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. Uh, the Word of God also says that no liars will inherit of the kingdom of God. So, beloved, God takes lying as a serious offense. He lists it right along with murderers, homongers, blasphemers. So there's no such thing as a little white lie. A lie is a lie and it will damage you. It will damage your reputation, beloved, and it will put you at odds with the God of heaven, your heavenly Father. So beloved, <clears throat> always remember that, that no matter how uh, others might be doing it, how business leaders might be doing it, or everyday people who say that they are Christians may lie excessively. Beloved, do not do it. And when we lie, we ought to confess it unto the Lord and ask for forgiveness. Because, beloved, lying is not a fruit of the Spirit of God. It is a condemnation against the Word of God and even Jesus Christ, who was the truth and is the truth. Even back in the 15th verse, it says this, But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. So as we speak truth, we mature into the head, which is Christ. Amen? Beloved, let us seek the mind of Christ and put away the old man. Amen? Beloved, be blessed today. And many blessings fall upon you in the name of Jesus the Christ.